Yeah, hello. I'd like you to meet my blended family. First of all... Hi, I'm Corinne. Corinne was born. And I read the poem in uh, Natural History and Council. Hello, I'm David Twy. I'm just the manager. Hey, and I'm Nicole, the video producer. And I also read a poem too. Back to you, David. And you read them both very well. So I just wondered if you wouldn't mind Corinne reading uh, the one you read again. It sort of starts in this uh, part of the book. Sure. Postscript poem by Seamus Keeler. And sometime, make the time to drive out west into country club along the flaggy shore in September or October when the wind and the light are working off each other so that the ocean on one side is wild with foam and glitter and inland among stones the surface of slate grey is lit by the earth lightning of a flock of swans their feathers rough and ruffling, white on white their fully grown headstrong looking heads tucked or cresting or busy underwater useless to think you'll park and capture it more thoroughly you are neither here nor there a hurry through which known and strange things pass as big soft buffetings come at the car sideways and catch the heart of guard and blow it open. Favour and favour. Thank you. Good to see you. Bye, Corinne. See you. Hello, welcome back. This time I'm going to read from part 5 or of Unexplainable encounters, except no fix of old, old home. A weird winter walk, joyful Jamaica beckons in a new era, end of 2010s. Welcome to the Caribbean. The excerpt I'm going to read now is from chapter 25, and finally, Oswald's Fish Bar, Jamaica. As we approached the coast, the local fishermen were gutting the fish and dividing it into separate containers, the edible from the entrails. The bar was not ostentatious, as we chose our fish from the recently caught display on ice and sat down with a coconut drink at a table to enjoy the Palm Beach scene. It was not a swimming section of the beach, as we had done that the day before, further up the bay. Besides, slim fishing boats were coming in and out in quick succession. After gutting the fish, the bucket of slop was thrown in the sea by the shallow waves. That sparked a seabird frenzy of feeding with brown pelicans unceremoniously crash landing into the water before gulping down the rich pickings. They were followed by the sleeker magnificent frigate birds, which like masked fighter pilots with the sun behind these prehistoric looking birds came over the palm trees and in one fell swoop scooped up the surface bits in a continuous sustainable cycle. Two barking dogs were also entertaining us by trying to chase the birds without getting their feet wet but to no avail. Our spirit soared in what for me was one of the most exciting cafe views for Sunday lunch. Enjoy! Christ holds it all together. We look at this sun and see God's original purpose in everything created. That's a quote from Colossians 1, verse 15, the Message Bible. That's all for now from this book. Remember, the more you're out, the more you see. Goodbye.